In just a couple months, Austin's composting program will reach a milestone, 148,000 households with uh, curbside collectible compost bins. It's part of the city's zero waste goal to divert 90% of materials from landfills by 2040. Uh, not everyone with access to this program is using it, though. So we have a member of the Austin Resource Recovery Team with us, Memi Cardenas. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for uh, having us. We want to, this is going to be, this will make much more mm -hmm. sense in just a second. Uh, but first, we want to just touch on uh, who has access to these bins, uh, mm -hmm. the composting bin, bins in Austin. So currently, it's in about half of our customers' homes. So half of the homes uh, that we service in Austin have this service. Uh, about 90 some thousand this September we're expanding it to 53,000 more homes uh, totaling about three-fourths of our customers okay and, and if people aren't familiar with composting uh, can you explain what compost is so yeah so we take all our food scraps food sold paper and yard trimmings place it in this green cart it goes off to a processing facility where it becomes nutrient-rich compost that we can use to fertilize local area parks and green spaces uh, instead of throwing all of this organic material in the trash. I think we're looking at some clips now. Mm -hmm. uh, is this one of your videos that you guys put together? It is, it is. So this, uh, as opposed to your backyard composters, which are great, we want to encourage people to keep composting at home, we can put things in your green, or you can put things in your green cart such as meat, bones, dairy products, even entire pizza boxes can go in there. So that's the benefit to using this service okay. uh, as well. Okay, so talk about what yeah. stuff is, uh, you know, compostable. Um, we have, I think that yes. this is a common misconception, this is a big right? One. So we don't want to see pizza boxes in the recycling mm -hmm. necessarily because it has grease in it. And okay. you can't take grease out of paper, so it would like kind of mess up, contaminate mm -hmm. the paper stream. So we want to put all food sold paper like napkins and pizza boxes right in your green cart, uh, yard trimmings go right in there as well. Uh, if you have extra yard trimmings, we ask that you fill the green cart first and then get those lawn and leaf bags afterwards. And then, or fill the lawn and leaf bags after. And then we have all these food scraps. You can mm -hmm. put uh, in a kitchen collector at home if you want. I like to use this BPI certified compostable bags to kind of help with what people can think of like an, an icky yeah, yeah. to it. Uh, I throw these in the freezer when they're full and then the night before collection day, I put it right in my green cart and set it up for collection. Easy as that, and we're yeah. glad to see it. It's expanding, Mommy. Thank you so much for being here and thank helping you. us understand the program. Thank you.